Hey everybody, Jason Creel and you're watching the Lawn Care Life. Today we're going to talk about one of those hard to control weeds in your lawn and I'm going to test two products side by side and we're going to see which one works best or at least compare the results on a tough weed called Virginia buttonweed. So let me show you what Virginia buttonweed looks like. I'm going to show you the two products that I'm going to use and then we're going to spray some two patches of Virginia buttonweed and keep an eye on it and see which product has the best results. Stay tuned. So let me show you Virginia buttonweed. It is a low growing vine type weed. It usually will put out little white flowers and you may see it uh, in your lawn. I, I see it in a variety of different uh, grass types. This is in a thin Bermuda area, but I see it a lot in zoysia lawns too. I'm sure it's in other um, grass types. But Virginia buttonweed is a very difficult weed to control. What I've heard that, you know, in tests, they even spray it with glyphosate and it won't die. That somehow it um, keeps the herbicide from reaching the roots. But there are some good products to at least suppress it and to uh, keep it away for a while. So today we're going to be trying out two products that I know both work quite well on Virginia buttonweed, but I just want to try them out side by side and we'll keep an eye on the results. So let's see the products that we're gonna be using today. Now these are actually products that I use on a regular basis, not just for Virginia buttonweed, but for a lot of weeds. First up, we've got Change Up. If you watch me on YouTube, you know I talk about Change Up a lot. Uh, it works for, for a lot of different weeds. I use it a lot in uh, centipede grass. Great for yellow wood sorrels, great for uh, Lespedeza, does a good job on Virginia buttonweed, spurge. There's a lot of weeds that I um, use change up is kind of one of my go-to spot treating products during the summer months. The other product is called Blindside. Blindside has sulfitrazone in it, which is the the active ingredient in Dismiss. So, uh, and, and all the Dismiss products, in my knowledge, are going to work pretty well on Virginia buttonweed. But Blindside also has metsulfuron. I use Blindside a lot. It it works on a number of other weeds. It works good on Kalinga, Yellow Nut Sedge. One of the few products that works to some degree on broom sedge, but today, as mentioned, we're gonna be trying it on Virginia buttonweed. Both these products are mixed at close to the high rate. Uh, change up, I've got both these mixed in a two gallon sprayer. Change up at one ounce per gallon of water, a little bit of surfactant, blind side. Comes with this handy little measuring cup. I've got it at that high rate, 0.23 ounces in a gallon and a half of water. So, you know, Technically, you could probably go a little bit higher on the blind side, but I will say uh, it can be a product that if you spray it too heavy or mix it too heavy, then you can ding up the turf and get a little browning of the grass around the weed you're trying to control. So I think we've got it mixed at an effective rate for the weed that we are trying to suppress in this situation. All right, so let's get to it. I've got where I use these little two gallon handheld sprayers a lot. It, they're like $35 on Amazon, and I'll put a link in the description if you want to pick one up. But they are, uh, to me, better than a lot of the sprayers I've used that cost more. You know, not that it's going to last you for 20 years or anything like that, but they spray well and hold up uh, fairly well, I think, for, as far as the value goes. I don't know of another sprayer for that price that you're going to get that's going to be better than this one. So this is what we're going to be using today got the products mixed up in two of these identical sprayers. All right, you can see we have several Virginia buttonweed plants here. It's hard to get all the variables just perfectly right in an experiment like this. I've tried, I'm gonna try to spray them as equally as possible, you know, on the same day and give them the same amount of time to compare the results. You know, so we're gonna do the best we can as far as making this a fair comparison. So as I'm standing here, I'm gonna spray three plants on the, these three here on kind of on my left uh, with blind side and then these three over here, including that larger one on the right with change up. All right, here we go. All right. Now let's do the three on the right side with change up. You'll notice I'm not trying to drown the weed. You know, I just want to get it get it wet. You know, if you got it mixed properly, that's sufficient enough.
All right, let's give this a little time. We'll be checking back over the next several days to see the results. This is about four days after the initial application and we're gonna compare the, the ones that are treated with blind side versus one tree with change up. So let's start with the blind side. Uh, and just looking at it, you can see the plant starting to wilt, starting to have some real discoloration in leaves. Let's find the other one. This one looks even a little worse. And here's one that was here's one that was slightly larger uh, that's you know maybe doing a little better but you can see how some of the leaves it's really turned them brown now again Virginia buttonweed is it, it's not gonna die I'm almost positive this plants not gonna die but it's gonna turn it brown and make it wilt and we're just comparing the results but I mean I have no doubt it'll be back next year here's the the larger plant that was sprayed with change up now it doesn't show the as much discoloration partially maybe because of it being a larger plant uh, and then you have here's a smaller one and it has more discoloration and then we compare that with a one that has not been sprayed at all and you can see the leaves are green so after about four days I mean it's definitely working both products are working blind sides working faster which was to be expected does that mean it'll be better in the long run I you know I don't really know but for just pure quicker results uh, the plant is definitely uglier that was sprayed with blindside as compared to the one sprayed with change up but both are, are good products and we're going to keep our eye on this uh, for a little while longer to see how the results progress okay we're about eight days after application on the Virginia buttonweed testing two products change up versus Virginia buttonweed I want to show you the results because I think you know based on the results we have two good products but in my opinion one looks like it's going to have a slight edge over the other on Virginia buttonweed let's start with the change up now there's a couple of things I can observe from this one change up uh, it wasn't a totally fair comparison because this was a larger uh, plant here and you can see on the larger plant I mean there's definitely some discoloration and a lot of stuff going on I mean the plant is is sick but uh, it, it's probably you know it's not going to die. My, you know the plant is sick, but it looks um, the best. So you know I think like that's true with a lot of weeds. You know in that when they're at full strength and full size, a larger plant sometimes is more difficult to kill than a, a smaller one. So compare that with this smaller one that was sprayed with Change Up. You know, and let me just go ahead and show you a healthy one that hasn't been treated, so you can compare the difference. You know, so that's normal green leaves on a Virginia buttonweed and you compare that with the discoloration of this one you know the larger one and then you know this smaller plant you can actually see it this was Virginia buttonweed here and it it's really you can see how well it worked on it now we were using a high rate of change up um, but you know very Effective control. I like change up because it's good on a lot of different weeds Virginia buttonweed being one of them, but I use it for you know kind of almost my go-to product a lot of times in the summer for spot treating All right, let's compare it with the the three plants that were sprayed with Virginia buttonweed and, and again in fairness change up had had the largest plant to try to tackle All right, so let's check out the three plants first So we're looking at this first this one with Virginia buttonweed and you can see how it just really burns the tips of the, the leaves and that one you know if maybe if I'd got a little better coverage with it it would have done more but you know definitely suppress it and, and again Virginia buttonweed is not an easy weed to control in most plants you know a lot of herbicides will just say they'll suppress it I don't know of anything that will actually kill the plant I fully expect these to be back next year but that was the this was the least affected plant by blindside and then you go to the other two let me show you all right, and now let's check out the other, the other two that were sprayed with blindside. Now, you can see here, I feel like there's a little bit of discoloration in the Bermuda. Now, it, it's going to bounce back, no problem. But just to know, it, it is, you know, it, it can cause some discoloration, especially if you use it on other grass types. Bermuda is probably the, the hardiest that I spray. But you can see, if you can, I honestly had to look for it pretty close. You see this one, and you can see you think this plant's going to die. If 
I was going to bet on it, I bet it's not going to die. It'll come back. And But, I mean, I don't know what else you could do to it. That is some really good suppression, if you want to use that word, of this particular plant. And I'm not even sure that was the best one. You look, compare it with this one, you know, that particular leaf is a little bit better. But look over here. I mean... I don't know what else you could ask for as far as control of Virginia buttonweed. To me, these are both good products. Uh, change up and blindside. If I have, if I was just choosing one for this particular weed, and like I said, that's not necessarily how you operate. Is looking for one product for one weed. A lot of times you're looking for one product that will control a lot of weeds. But just for this Virginia buttonweed case, I really like blindside. Now I think there'd be a couple other tests we could do. You know, blindside has sulfitrazone in it, which is the active ingredient in dismiss. Well, there's other products that have dismiss in it. So, you know, you could just use regular dismiss, or you could use this dismiss NXT, which has sulfitrazone and carvitrazone in it. You know, and compare those with blindside, which is sulfitrazone and metsulfuron. So, you know, you wonder, is it just the dismiss causing that, or is that metsulfuron in blindside also helping? And I don't know the answer to that, but that would be another test. We could, you know, try blindside versus dismiss NXT versus uh, regular dismiss. I hope this video has been helpful to you. I've got some other weed control videos on specific weeds. Sometimes people watch some of the videos and they, that's what they want. to know how to control a specific weed. So I'm trying to create some of those for you. You can check the links in the description for more videos like this. I might actually put a link to the playlist that has uh, some of the weed control videos in it. If you had not done so, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'll try to continue to provide helpful videos for you. And let me hear from you. What do you think about these results? Is there a specific weed that you would like me to test? You know, I, I live in Alabama, I don't have every weed, but there are some and some that I like to test products side by side for myself. But let me hear from you in the comments. Talk to you later.